the bubble stitch. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are knitting up this pretty cozy bubble knit stitch pattern. It is three dimensional, it has a lot of texture and it is totally addictive to knit up and the pattern is very easy to memorize. You can get the full written pattern on my website. If you join my mailing list, you get a printable PDF and it's also great to pin this to your knitting Pinterest board to save for later. You'll see you can get really creative by changing up your yarn colors. And if you think this bubble knit stitch pattern is a fun one, do me a favor, hit like on this video. It really helps me out. All right, let's get started. For our materials, you can use any yarn or needle size that you like, which is common for most patterns. Here I'm using worsted weighted yarn, size seven, scissors, and a tapestry needle. And of course, we begin with our beloved little slip knot. We are going to cast on in multiples of four plus three. So you'll see the pattern over here on the left. CO is cast on, and you cast on four stitches. And then you just keep casting on in multiples of four until you have as many stitches that you would like on your needle. When you're done, add three extra little stitches at the end. We're going to start with row one, which is purling all stitches. Now you'll see in the pattern, rows one, three, and five are simply purling. We are going to be creating a stock and net stitch in the beginning before the bubble magic happens on row six. So we are purling on the odd rows and we are going to be knitting all the way down the row here on row two as well as row four. I'm using my row counter to keep track of my stockinette stitch rows and if you're interested in finding out more I do have a video I will link to that down in the description below and here is our beautiful stockinette stitch. Now I'm going to change to white yarn. This serves two purposes. One, if you're going to change yarn, row six and row 12, that's the time to do it. It also is going to help you see exactly what's going on in row six here a lot better. You'll see in the pattern K4B. That means knit four below. Now this is a new one. I have a full tutorial linked in the description below. Let's do it right now. So on our left needle, we are taking one stitch off and then to knit four below it, we're actually those little ladders right there. We're actually going to be loosening those up and letting those stitches drop all the way down until we have four yarn ladders totally loose. Okay, does this freak you out? Is this sort of satisfying? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both? So once you have those four ladders right there, your little stitch, you are going to go right through it with your right needle. So you're going to hook back on with your right needle right there. Okay, now we are going to put our right needle through, right? So it's right below those four ladder yarns, those horizontal yarns right there. We just put it right through to the back. Now with our working yarn, the white, we go around as if to knit, which we are going to do, and we're going to pull it through that little blue stitch, and we're going to knit our white yarn all the way through. Okay, we're going to do this again, <laughs> so you don't have to pause and hit rewind. We are going to do this again. And looking back on row six, you'll see that after you do the K4B, the knit four below, then you knit three, and repeating between the asterisks means that we do the knit four below again, and you keep knitting this pattern all the way down the row to create your bubble shape until you get to the end. And at the end of row six, it is simply finishing with that knit three right there. Okay, I hope you're not feeling dizzy from that. We're gonna do it again. Let's first look at how our bubble stitches are already shaping up. Ah, so pretty, 
so easy once you get the hang of it. All right, so we have our texture already shaping up, and next is just going to be going on our stockinette stitch again. So after row six, we go down with our purl row and knits and purls and knits and purls until we are ready to tackle row 12. To have the alternating rows, you'll see that it's knit one first and then we do the knit four below. So we have our four ladders right there. We get our stitch on the right. We bring it under, take our working yarn around, and that working yarn is going to knit through that little white loop, and we're ready to keep on going. And at the end of row 12, this is how everything is shaping up, and our bobbles are so pretty. Feel free to totally change up your yarn color. You can do the same, you can do two colors. You can get really, really creative. Um, variegated yarn looks really great on this pattern as well. And then you just repeat rows one through 12 until you're ready to bind off. Now binding off, I recommend doing it after row one or after row seven because that purl row that you're doing after the knit four below, that's going to help cinch up your bubbles. And after you do that, that's a great time to bind off. And then we are just going to cut our yarn, weave it through our little swatch right here. And here is how our bubble stitch looks on the front, the right side. Here is the back, also known as the wrong side. I hope you are inspired to give the bubble knit stitch pattern a try. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Studio Knit. I post a new video every Saturday, a few bonus videos as well. And make sure to check out all of my knit stitch patterns. I have so many pretty ones to choose from. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.